Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5, and we've got some new updates as to when the show's coming, and we've got some updates as to the finale as well, and yeah. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this is coming from various articles, so they will be linked in the description below. So you guys can check them out. But anyway, so the CW released an updated schedule as to when the new episodes are coming out. And the episode dates, some of them have stayed the same. Some of them are airing right now. But some have changed as well. And so I'm not sure as to Batwoman. But Batwoman seemingly comes back before Supergirl. It comes back on the day Supergirl was supposed to return on April 26th. So it's the 9th today. So that would be in... Not a very long time, that's 17 days from now, it's when Batwoman is coming back at his normal time slot. And so nothing's changed there. But if you look at the schedule on the screen right now, you can see that Supergirl is coming back on Sunday, as per normal. But it's not coming back on April 26th anymore. They've changed it. It's May 3rd at their normal time slot. So I don't know why, but apparently... It is potentially because they want Batwoman and Supergirl to finish and have their finales on the same day. Even though I thought they had the same amount of episodes, maybe there has been something in the schedule where they're like an episode behind or something like that. Maybe Batwoman plans to have a break. I don't know what's the actual reason for this. But it seems like they moved it to, you know, mend them together or I guess to have like episodes running for a longer time because we have episode 17 which is this episode it doesn't seem like it's actually going to come it's been so long they've been just delaying it delaying it delaying it and so yeah we got this May 3rd date they've got 17 then they got 18 19 and 20 20 is the finale so you've got like four or five episodes you've got a lot of time so this is gonna be like ending in like June time sometime around there so it's a lot later than normal obviously they had that change in season 3 when they took that big break due to some behind the scenes stuff and this is behind the scenes stuff as well so maybe that is sort of playing a part into why these episodes have been delayed maybe they need more time and the CW have given Supergirl more time compared to these other shows but anyway so the flash is staying the same as per normal it's staying April 21st coming back at its normal time slot at 8 7 central and also Legends is coming after that on April 21st but it's only Supergirl that has been changed but it's still at its regular time Batwoman's still the same it hasn't changed its release dates it just seems like Supergirl keeps on getting delayed obviously we don't know the exact reason but we can sort of guess and theorize about why things have been changing for Supergirl specifically Anyway, so let's move on to the next piece of information. So this comes from the article that will be linked in the description below. The article reads, Supergirl producers plan to make do with what they shot. So Nicole Maines, who obviously is the main star, this is part of the interview, said Quella and Rovna explained to her that they have a plan to formulate a season finale of Supergirl with the footage that they have shot before they disperse the crew. And of course... She can't reveal how it's going to end, but she feels very confident that this is exactly what they are going to do. They are going to air this finale, they're going to use what they've done and what they've shot, and it's going to be like a full episode. They only missed out a few lesser scenes, because as per Canada Grass, he told me that they nearly finished. They were about three to four days, I think he said, off of actually completing their filming before they got told to shut down production. So I would say that those scenes, maybe there are some important scenes scattered throughout those four days or so. However, they probably shot most of the episode, the sort of meaty chunk of the episode. So I guess maybe there will be a shorter episode unless they cobble together some footage from past episodes or like unused footage. But I would say maybe expect a shorter finale. Maybe it's going to be like half an hour long rather than like 45 minutes long like it normally is. So maybe it's just going to be quicker, kind of neater, and it's going to be more to the point maybe than, you know, what would normally be expected of a full Supergirl finale because it would be a full length episode which is around 45 minutes. And so apparently some people have been thinking that, you know, they're not going to air this finale episode, they're going to delay it until they can go back and film. 
but the likelihood of that is really, really slim, as it seems like Melissa won't be able to go back to actually film, and probably the likelihood of them getting back to film is not going to be, you know, for the next couple of months. I would say probably late June, definitely into July is probably your best bet. It could even be August, who knows, as to when they can travel, you know, from America to Canada where they actually film. So you've got all those issues going with that, but obviously, you know, we don't know if they have enough footage to actually cobble it together. Obviously, the showrunners have said that they've got enough, but is it going to be too short to actually properly air? So they might run into some troubles, I guess, when they are putting together this final episode. And I reckon they're getting pretty close to that right now. Maybe if they've still got some of their editors working on it, I would say that they're probably, you know, on this episode as of today. But it seems like the showrunners are very confident that they are going with this plan that they formulated for the season finale, even though they didn't get to finish all this shooting. But still people are sort of querying whether this episode is going to be delayed and, you know, they're just going to wait to film or it's going to be delayed and then it's still going to be like 30 minutes long or something like that or it's just not going to be a, like a complete episode and you'll have to explain some of the stuff in the next season and like we've talked about many times over the last few weeks we don't know if Supergirl is coming back for their next season till like January or something like that because of you know Melissa can't film she's on maternity leave supposedly until November so you know there is a lot of issues going into next season and towards the end of the season but I would say it's very likely that we're going to get this episode even if it is shorter and even if there is say maybe a week's delay or something like that if they need to edit some more stuff to make it a proper good finale and I guess it should give you some confidence that Nicole is talking about this in interviews because that means there is an official plan it's not like she's saying oh I think they have a plan maybe they're going to do this or that but she said she's talked to them, they have an idea of what they're going to do, and I think I would believe Nicole over like some people online. Okay, so now we're going to move on to an article, and this is sort of going to be a bit of a kind of ranty thing. Similar to what happened like a lot of times with We Got This Covered and Cosmic Book News with the sort of way of reporting where they make up stuff and they essentially take old news, they put it together to try and make it look like new news. And basically they try and, you know, hype up people, but, you know, it's not true. So, anyway, so there's this website, I don't even know how to say it, it's like Otaku Cart. But anyway, so it's like an official, apparent news site, because it comes up on Google, and it's in the news section. And so the title of the article is Supergirl Season 5 Netflix Release Date and New Updates. So, yeah, please go ahead and read this article, or just listen to me, and... It just makes no sense at all. Okay, so read this, right? This is what it says. American superhero television series has been revised to be launched on Netflix. Makes no sense. What American superhero television series? Doesn't say it's Supergirl. The American superhero television series. And then it says, Production has made an announcement based on the fans' requests. Number one, production doesn't make any announcements, it's the showrunners, it's the people, it's the CW that makes announcements, so that's wrong, obviously they're making this up, and why would they do it on fans' requests? And that's literally how they wrote it, they wrote fans' instead of fans. And so then it moves on to say, Many rumours started speculating regarding the launch of Supergirl season in Netflix. In Netflix? What the? You know, on Netflix, Supergirl season 5, not Supergirl season. And also, the crew has announced to put an end for the rumours. We have gathered much information regarding the Superhero Season 5 release date, cast trailer and update. Let's start discussing in detail without delay. So this makes no sense at all once again. I don't know if they know English or anything like that. But anyway, so the crew doesn't announce anything and there is no rumours. And so why would the crew put end to rumours? And also, they said they have gathered much information regarding the Superhero Season 5. The Superhero Season 5? They mean Supergirl Season 5. Not working. Very good. Anyway, so the next bit, they go on to say, Adventure Series has also won many awards, and it has few shows which received a renewal soon after the last season. Adventure Series? Why are you talking about it winning many awards when you're talking about the TV show? and you calling it adventure series like 
call it the name <laughs> makes no sense makes no sense again and so increase in the popularity and overwhelming response from the fans production has planned to extend its progress what are they extending and why would production plan to do anything like this makes no sense anyway so then they go on to spell supergirl wrong then they have like loads of subtitles they're like who are the cast included in supergirl season 5 just trying to extend it and then they finally get onto the actual reason for this article is what is supergirl season 5 release date again doesn't make any sense then they say supergirl season 5 will be released on netflix in may 2020 and so this is like the final kind of icing on the cake because May 2020 is when episode 17 is supposed to air, then they've got 18, 19 and 20, won't be finished till about June time like I said earlier today in this video, and so this is complete bullshit. So don't check out the site, that is the moral of today. But anyway guys, thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the first part of the video, and hopefully you enjoyed me going off on this website, whatever they are. And anyway guys, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.